Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this lesson, we want to continue talking about types of mirrors. We studied the plane uh, mirrors and what are the properties of the image that is formed in a plane mirror. And uh, now we want to talk about uh, spherical mirrors. Uh, uh, we want to focus in this lesson on con a concave uh, mirror. But before we start our lesson, we want to talk about concave mirrors and conve uh, convex mirrors. What are these mirrors? Actually, these mirrors, they were first what? A sphere. Okay? So, look at this one. This one, first one here. You have here two spheres. Uh, one of them uh, represent a, a for convex and the other one for a concave. Look at it here. So, this one here. Uh, the reflected surface is inward in the first sphere. I'm talking about this one, number one. Okay, uh, it was what? It was a sphere. So con a concave mirrors, it's a part of a sphere. Where is the reflected uh, surface? The reflected surface is what is inward. Okay, so here this part here is what is the reflected surface. Uh, but the upper, uh, the outer side is not a reflected surface. Yani, if you're standing here, you can't see your image. Only if you stand in this. But only what, what the it's a part. Yani, we take a part of this sphere. It's what sorry from this. This is the center. Okay. Uh, so uh, a part of it. It's called what? Uh, it's a uh, luana. Uh, it's a spherical mirror but this one because the reflected surface is inward it's what it's called what concave mirror but the other one number two here it's also a sphere but it's called convex mirror convex mirror mirror where is the uh, reflected surface it's the outer side is the what reflected surface it's also a part of a sphere okay but here with the reflected surface it's outside concave it's inside okay and now we want i i said we want to focus on what on concave mirrors for concave mirrors, uh, if you remember, uh, we said first it's what is curved and uh, curved inward. It's like a ball of the, a spoon. And you try to use the spoon uh, and from the inside it's what concave mirror. For concave mirrors, if you remember, in plane mirrors we said they can make virtual image and uh, a virtual image, but for concave mirror, this property is important. They can form either virtual image or real image. Okay? Uh, when it forms virtual, when it forms real image, we will take this. But uh, actually, it depends on uh, the position of the object. Where is the uh, position of the object? From the mirror. Okay? We will talk about it now. Uh, also, I want to talk about concave mirrors are useful for producing beams of light and magnify objects. They, يعني, uh, the mirrors, uh, these, uh, they use them for shaving, for example, uh, because they magnify objects. They make mainly the object what, uh, bigger. Okay? But all the properties, very important, all the properties depends on what? Where is the location of the object uh, from the mirror? To understand this, we want to understand how to make the, Im the image, how to draw it. You remember, we drew the image for the plane mirror. The same thing we will do what? For, con uh, for concave mirrors. Uh, first of all, to know how to draw the image, you have to make this one. Again, uh, for this lesson also, uh, bring a paper, bring a ruler, and bring a pencil. And try to make pause with each point that I say to what? To, uh, to write the notes and to draw with me. Got it? Um, let's talk here. First, to, uh, we said uh, for the mirror, it's what? It's a part of a uh, concave mirror. It's a part of a sphere. For this one, to draw the image, we have to determine three points. 
point it's called what it's C as you saw from the previous uh, slide I show you the C is what uh, it's the center of the sphere got it or, or this uh, this sphere yeah for this mirror also you have to put a point this point it's called what it's called F what is F it has a name it's called focal point the third point you have to put it's P okay this is the polar of the image okay for sorry for the mirror okay uh, how to draw well by using a ruler hello first uh, sorry I didn't mention at the beginning before you determine for sure uh, these uh, uh, these points you have to what to draw a line uh, this line the red one it's called principal line the red line it's called what principal line on this line you have to determine C F and P uh, here on P you put what you put this uh, this mirror you draw the mirror maybe here it's not clear but uh, I this uh, software it doesn't uh, help me to do it clear for you the image but yani uh, when you draw it make it like a part of a sphere got it uh, here the F it's called focal point and see uh, what about the measurement F it's exactly it has the same distance between P and F F and C and if for example uh, from P to C is uh, six meet uh, centimeters uh, F it should be away from P how much three centimeters uh, now to understand how to draw it in the plane mirror we said we need only two rays but for concave mirrors we need here we want to study three rules also we need in each uh, case uh, two rays uh, but uh, we want to study uh, three rules first okay let's start with these rules now now uh, rules to what sorry rules to draw the image in concave mirror let's start with rule one to understand these rules try to draw with me ray by ray okay and try to write notes rule number one ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes it through focus and if there is an object and this object the ray from the object okay that hit the mirror it makes like a parallel line okay to uh, uh, parallel to the principal axis uh, it, how it will be reflected for sure it will be reflected how it will be reflected it will be reflected passes through a focus or focal uh, point okay I'll show it to you now so for the for rule number one uh, if the ray is parallel look at it here is parallel to the axis a line a principal axis look the uh, yellow one is parallel to the red one the red one principal line and the yellow one is what is uh, the light uh, but it's parallel look at it it's toward as you see it's toward the mirror how it will be reflected sure the light after it hit the mirror it will be reflected how it will be reflected I'll use different color to show you this one it will be reflecting passing what the focal point yani this is the point of focal point it should pass the focal point exactly it should pass the focal line point so this one here it shows the reflected ray so the first one the first rule 
if there is any light that hit the concave mirror, the uh, it was parallel to the principal axis. How it will be reflected? It will pass through what focal point. While I'm uh, explaining these rules, please uh, use a ruler and start to draw with memes, okay? To make it easier to memorize these rules and uh, how to draw the image. Before we draw the image, we have to understand these rules. We finish the from rule number one, okay? Let's move to rule number two. Rule number two, it says that the ray of light passing through yani a ray of light i'm not talking the uh, reflected from the mirror i'm talking about ray of light passing through the center of curvature is what reflected back along the same path what does that mean i'll show it to you by drawing So this one from this one use uh, as I said uh, the pencil and ruler to draw it uh, for the light ray that passes it through what through C pay attention here through which point I said through C in this one look at it passes through this point how it will be reflected from here from this part here passes through C and hits the mirror how this one it will be reflected I'll show it to you this is the direction how it will be reflected this one it will be reflected toward itself why it will be reflected toward itself this one actually I, it's perpendicular to the mirror so it will make 90 degree how it will be reflected this one it will be reflected on itself a uh, very important the light ray that passes through C and has the mirror it will be reflected toward itself because what it's perpendicular to the mirror it makes like 90 degree with the mirror the third rule the third rule, this one, rule number three, ray of light passing through the focus, focus which is the focal point, I mean, after reflection becomes parallel, yani the light that reflected, the reflected light is parallel to the principal axis or principal line. Let's see this one. This one here, So for this rule, the ray we said that passes through the focal point. Yani this is the ray here. Look at it. It passes through the focal point. This light here passes. Um, I want to continue from this side like this passes and hits the mirror look at it so this one it will hit the hit uh, it will hit the mirror like this this one passes through what again through the focal uh, point how it will be reflected it will be reflected i'll use different color but the reflection as you know from the same point that hit the mirror right i'll use a green color here it will be reflected parallel to the principal line so look at the green color this is the reflected light how it will be reflected as what it will be parallel to the principal line so here i want you to understand these three rules by only drawing them so your homework your homework for today to draw these three rules separate for sure 
okay and you have to show me your drawing uh, and i want to make sure and f beside each a drawing but what is the rule to understand how to draw and in the next lesson we will learn how to uh, draw the image but before we draw the image we want to know what are the rays that we need to draw the image okay so these three rays are important uh, uh, do the homework and send it to me. Thank you for listening.